wait till I get some of y'all up on this motherfucker. Let me stop cussing. I gotta stop cursing so much. I really do gotta stop cursing. I look like a B.O.N. from this angle, though. I, I can dig that. I can dig that. You look like a B.O.N. from right here, man. Come on, y'all. I need y'all to tune in. Let me know y'all in here watching so we can talk about this BBKC show this Saturday, May 14th, Chicago, Illinois. The first annual BBKC confirmation and fun show hosted by Khan and the rest of Team Midwest. Um, once I get Khan on here, he can kind of tell y'all some things to expect, uh, protocols, whatever he want to talk about. Then I want to hear some of y'all opinions on what y'all want uh, in the fun show. Confirmation show pretty cut and dry already. But I want to know from the rest of y'all, what do you guys want to see in the uh, fun show? Like what type of classes? Because um, it's, it's going to be strictly American bullies. Um, no other breeds. So let's try to, you know brainstorm together i'm waiting on him to get on here so we can get this mess started i'm out here in the beautiful south i ain't gonna tell y'all where i'm at because it's really none of y'all business but out here in the south i'm loving it reminding me more and more every day where i gotta move out of indiana because it is beautiful down here right now i'll give y'all a little little shadig you feel me But yeah, we really just waiting on Khan to get on here. I, I I cannot confirm or deny, Amy, but yes, Florida is a beautiful state in itself. I'm trying to add that fool on here. But he ain't got on here yet. Told him 7 o'clock. Will this live be available to watch later? Yeah, as long as I can keep my, my cursing down, I'll let the live stay up. But... If I get too excited and I start cursing, I'm deleting this mug. I should call him. Somebody call Khan or message him right now and tell him he's late again. Dude, always late. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, we did uh, 7, 6 Central Time. He know I got to be somewhere in like 30 minutes. But, well, since he's taking forever, I might as well ask some of y'all, man. Tell me, since I am the judge for the fun show this Saturday, I need to know what are some, some categories y'all want to see uh, at the show. Like, I'm talking about what, what we doing. Biggest head, uh, biggest spread, best blue, best lilac. Tell me what y'all want to see. Hey, Kente, you ain't lying. That's why you don't ever be on live, because everybody knows you. That shag rug on your head, that premium carpet, because your barber don't like you no more. Okay, we got best rear on here, Rocco clone. Come on, keep them coming, man. Keep them coming. Best Stilo Brim. I mean, if we get enough Brim kids at the show, I don't mind adding the best Brim kid class. Because this is some stiff competition, I tell you that much. I'm damn near scared. To judge that, I might have to take myself out and have somebody else judge that. He said, don't make me expose. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now, Tristan, if you come up, we definitely having a best dress contest. We having a best dress. So you better come with that, with that on. And I will be having the diamond tester. <laughs> I will have the diamond tester out. So don't come up here with no CZs. Don't come up here with no SIs neither. So please don't play with me today. He said, I'm going to drop that screen. So he keep talking. Boy, you better stop. You better stop. All right, best rearing, best gait. So, I, so right now I'm getting best rear, best gait, uh, best Rocco, best brim, best chest. I told him seven, what I say? I told that fool seven p.m. Eastern time. 
please, Tristan, bring that diamond tester. Because the bigger bus down Baguan is ready for all that. 20 minutes? Oh, t- I'm going to be I'm gonna be at Vivo in 20 minutes. I'm going to be eating me some Italian food. So he's going to have to go live on his own. Let me go ahead and pop me a little squat right here. He said, I swear that post said 7 p.m. Eastern time. I think I said 7 p.m., 6 p.m. Central time. But y'all gotta start talking, man. Start the shortest brim, daughter. We can just do shortest at all. He said them SI still gonna pass a tester. Not the tester I'm gonna bring. I'm going I don't wanna see no no uh inclusions and none of y'all diamonds. I don't wanna see no inclusions. If it don't look like water, do not bring them diamonds to the show. Because we're gonna embarrass you. Hey, do not bring them diamonds to the show. But uh but no, it's gonna be a real fun time, man. I really can't wait to see all y'all there. Uh, definitely have y'all cameras out, man, so we can all take pictures together, like make this a live moment. I think, I think right now, uh, Khan ordered a total of a hundred booths, and I think we got eighty, uh, eighty some odd of them sold. So I mean, we don't got that many booths left. I mean, even if you don't have bullies, if you don't have a dog, like you can definitely um. You could definitely bring, you know, you, the kids, the family. If you're thinking about getting into the breed, you guys can always come check out the dogs. Uh, you know, just see what the breed is about, see what the community is about. This is going to be a real, um, I'm not going to say formal, but it's going to be a real nice event. Um, not a lot of hooting and hollering and all that stuff, but it's going to be a nice show, man. It's going to be some real nice dogs in the building. You know, Brim is going to be in the building. So if you've ever wanted to see Brim in person, this is going to be the show to be at. This is going to be the only show he's been at this, like so far this summer. Uh, you guys are all welcome to come check him out. Uh, I don't know what dogs Khan is bringing. I don't, I don't know if he's bringing uh, a lot of them. I don't know what he's bringing. Uh, I assume Sam is going to bring Grim. I can't promise. I don't know. So we had to ask him. Um, he said, is y'all hiring? Hey, they might be. Hey, he, he got a facility, man. I just, you know, I got my personal dogs or whatnot. Uh, yeah, thanks, James, man. We, it was it was scary, man. It it happened right before we were supposed to go on vacation. So it's like I was a little, I was a little upset. I see Roy in the in the uh, in the live. I know he's gonna be there. I think he's gonna bring a lot of his dogs. Hopefully, my boy Vincent, my boy Vincent Jackson, can come up. I wish Kente could come, but I think he's gonna have a baby or something. No, he's gonna have a litter, so he can't come. Uh, and my boy Roy is coming. R.J. Lloyd and his wife Jessica are coming. Uh, There's a lot of people coming to the show, man. I'm 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 really excited. Some of the best dogs, not only in the Midwest but in the country are going to be at this show in in one event. And I like it because even though it's May, it's still like a nice cool breeze outside. So we ain't got to worry about the heat. We ain't got to worry about that. I know Khan got a good cleanup crew uh, on handy, but for real, Hey, speaking of that, man, clean up after your dogs, bro, please clean up after y'all dogs. We are going to have a cleanup crew on hand, but like real talk, if, I catch your dog taking a doodle man or a pee and you don't pick it up. I'm kicking you out. You feel me? Ariana, it's going to be uh, this Saturday, May 14th in Chicago, Illinois. Tim Jones, I appreciate that, bro. Driving all the way up from Florida. Yeah, it's, uh, I got to double check with Khan. That's why I was hoping his goofy self was on this live, but he don't understand what 7 p.m., 6 p.m. Central Time means. Um, but it's going to be it's gonna be Liddy, man. We no sticky fur. Huh, yeah, please. Hey, another thing. If you are, if you are planning on putting your dogs in the show ring, man, please, please give your dog a bath. Because if I'm judging your dog and it's some sticky fur, I'm kicking you out. I'm getting you out. Carlton Gray said he's still in his baby mama car to come to the show. Brian coming to the show. I need, I, I'm telling y'all, hey, I'm going to keep it a bean with y'all. 
I know for a fact it's going to be one, two, three, at least four brimstones up there. That's all going to shake the room. Big Rilla, Kenny Burcell is going to be there. Bo Duke is going to be there. Canaan, which is my production, but owned by my boy O up in, uh, up in Flint. He going to be there. Hellboy, owned by my boy Steve. He going to be there. Hey, HHK Chosen will be in the building. Brim Shorter's daughter will be there, according to Jessica. So if y'all got something shorter than what she got, y'all better bring it. Cause she, 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 she living with that title right now. My boy Rufus gonna be in the building. It's, it's, it's gonna be a movie, man. Like, like I need y'all to share the event page, man. Tell your friends, baby mamas, uncles, nieces, nephews, estranged cousins. Uh, you know. Tell everybody, man, because it's it's gonna be a, a real big a real big event. Let's see what y'all say. Okay, hey, I get people who ask me if Brim has litter mates all the time. Dima Yam and Sam Liam co own Brim's uh Brim's only other brother in the Midwest. All right. His name is Black Obama. He's a black try. Uh I think he carries color just like Brim. Don't quote me on that, but regardless he's a beautiful dog he is going to be at the show you know so y'all can y'all can see the consistency of the line and y'all can you know i know it's a lot of people uh when i first started bringing out brim they said they wanted to use him but you know brim kind of took more of the grim side they said they wanted a stud that kind of took more of the booby traits and i think that black obama is is a perfect example of a stud that took more of the booby traits but it's still Got that size and mass of a Rocco dog. If you don't have a booth, do you need a wagon for your dog? Uh, I mean, if you want to walk your dog around that building, you more than you more uh, welcome to. But uh, just clean up after it. You know what I'm saying? He said, "When's the next time you're running the show back?" Uh, I think it's gonna be an annual event, so probably every May we're gonna do the show. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna keep holding in Chicago or not. That's for him to talk about. Uh, yeah, he late, bro. I mean, I'm pretty sure the post said 7 p.m., 6 p.m. Central time. It's six months the youngest competition. Yeah, hey, no, nah, it is, Cam, but you're more than welcome to bring your brim daughter up so we can all check her out. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's going to be a lot of people here. It's going to be a lot of networking to be done. Um, This really, this really going to be one of the best opportunities aside from nationals to, like, really get out and talk to people in the community and uh, have, you know, showcase your dog and have people see what you're working with because all too often people complain, oh, you know, the we don't never see these dogs in person, blah, 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 blah. Well, now you ain't got no excuse. You know where they at. You know what I'm saying? You know where they at. What's well, some questions y'all got about the show? I'll try my best to answer them. I might not be able to answer everything. That's why, again... I tried to have Khan on here, but he's running late. Let me see, read some of these comments. Booby Golden Child female be in the building. I I hope so. I hope I hope honey uh what not what what is Sam name her? Uh money money boo boo. I think she gonna be there. I can't I can't speak if she gonna be there or not. I don't know. Uh, what they got going on. I think Machiavelli probably going to be in the building. I know that's a nice dog that Sam co-owns with Roger. Um, man, it's it's just so many to name, bro. I hope that uh, Golden Child is there. I'm still debating if I want to bring Booby out, you know, because she's retired and, you know, she old now. But I might bring her if enough people ask me. Oh, okay, okay. Bringing out our big red son. Bring him out. Bring him out. Bring him out. Oh, you talking about you talking about my boy? Oh, okay, okay. You talking about them? I keep forgetting. It's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, that's a bad brindle right there. That's a bad brindle right there. Do I think Golden Child might be there? Um, I don't know, man. Uh, you know, Jeremiah them took a huge hit last week. I'm sure their family is still grieving. Um, I would like to see him there, man, you know, so we can all love on him, show him that the community supports him and has his back. 
But, you know, we got to respect his wishes if he, you know, if he chooses to stay at home and spend that time with his family, you know. But uh, for everybody who has seen Golden Child in person, you guys already know he's a badass dog. I'm trying to make it out with Golden Child's brother. Come on. Come on. You already know, man. If you got a badass dog, this is the place to be. If you got a badass dog, this is the place to be. Um, shit, who else is coming? I think I think Nico Morata might bring some of his dogs out, man. He might even have some progesterone machines for sale. Uh, some of them cages with the false bottoms. Um, Thaddeus Robinson, man, what up, bro? Man, I got hey, I'm on live now, so I gotta go ahead and say it, man. I was supposed to come to Thad's show this past Saturday, but as most of y'all know, me and my lady were in the emergency room all day. You know what I'm saying? So I I wasn't able to make it, and I feel horrible about it, but. I got to let y'all know that, like, that is probably one of the most silent individuals in the community, man. And he threw a show on Saturday, and he, he got the kids involved. He, he was at the Plex. Like, it was it was a packed event, man, and he, he really was putting on for the city, man. Even all the way living in Texas, he brought all that energy from Texas back up to his hometown, Chicago. And folks really did that, man. So I got I to gotta shout that out on that one, man. Hopefully I can make the next one. I'm still mad I ain't make this one. It was right in our backyard, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, Jay, you right. You know, even even if you, uh, you know, a lot of people don't come to these shows because they feel like they don't have anything that they can put in the ring. And I tell you right now, bro, like I, I don't really put, uh, only dog I ever put in the ring was Brim, you know, but I was still hitting these shows every weekend because that's how you network. That's how you meet people. You know, so if you really want to step your yard up, you want to put your hands on these top dogs, you want to see what your yard is lacking, what you need to add from these top dogs, then this is the show to be at, man. Like, this is really where you need to go. Killinois Kennels would be in the building where you network and mingle. Killinois Kennels, man, they they one of the OG kennels in the Midwest, man. So you want to get some of that OG knowledge, some of that, some of that right there. It's time to come up here. Dominique Davis say he coming. It's it's gonna be amazing, bro. I, I really, I'm really excited, man. I'm really excited. You know, I'm gonna try to do my best to to bring some life to it. You know, what I'm saying so everybody feels included because we're gonna be a an inclusive registry. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be snooty. It's not gonna be something that you feel like you can't bring your kids to either. It's gonna be right in the middle, you know, because we at the end of the day we are a community. You know, what I'm saying. Champion Homicide pulling up. That's Booby's half brother. Champion Homicide. So look, you're gonna get to see some some of that real reliance blood spitfire there. Um who else? Who else? I can't wear no chinchilla coat in May, man. But no, I'm telling y'all, I am gonna have that on. Like for real. Like I'm gonna be fly. So if you if you call yourself trying to outshine me. You better have that on. I'm telling you right now. Because I'm going, before I even hit the show, I'm going to Saxon Neiman Marcus on Michigan Avenue. I'm telling you that right now. You look, you you hit up them before the show, you might see me. Because I'm going to be in there. You know what I'm saying? I might have a Lon Vons on. I might have a Dior's on. Hell, I might even have a Louis on. I don't know what I'm going to have on the show. But I'm going to have it on. I'm going to be letting y'all know. Grand Champion K2, Cairo, Trap coming. Come on, the, the the dogs just keep coming, bro. Like I'm telling y'all, already know the Midwest running when it comes to the bullies. Quiet is kept. Y'all already know we run it, so it only makes sense that the, the, the Midwest top dogs gonna be coming out. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep up reading these comments so I can so I can answer as many questions as I can, even though y'all not really answering no asking me no questions, but I'm gonna try to answer. Them. I'm trying to get my grandson on the map. I'm buying Daniel an outfit and sending him to the show. Man, for real, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it's gonna it's gonna be amazing, bro. And like I gotta I gotta iterate this point again before I before I get off this live. Even if you do not own an American bully and you are just curious about the breed and what's to it, man, you are more than welcome to come to the show this Saturday, May 14th in Chicago, Illinois. Uh the flyer is all over Facebook. But I'm sure Khan and myself will post a flyer between now and then. 
was thinking about bringing the best Merle in the Midwest. And it's a sheep. Bring him. Bring him. No, nah, LeBrad, this is it's going to be a strictly American bully show. So no French Bulldogs. Unfortunately, I already asked Khan if I could bring mine. But, you know, he wants to keep it strictly, strictly American bully this time. Yes, you can pay at the door. You do not have to prepay. Uh, I believe tickets are 20 at the door per person and maybe 10 or 15 per dog. I'm not sure. Uh, don't quote me, but it's one of those. It's, or, you know, very reasonably priced. What time is it over with? I mean, it's over when it's over, you know. So if it lasts till 8, it lasts till 8. If it lasts till 10, it lasts till 10. I don't think it's going to last till 10. I think it'll probably be over between like 6.30 and 8. You know what I'm saying? As long as we can keep everything running smoothly with the confirmation show and the fun show. Because I don't think that they are going to run concurrently. I think they're going to run consecutively. Let's see what other questions y'all got. Yeah, Austin Smith, man. You know, whatever you could do to make it out, man. I'm sure, like, Khan been working on this show for a long time, man. So he, he, he. I'm telling y'all right now, he's bringing it. For junior handlers, is the juniors have to be an American bully? I believe so. Yes, Khan wants to keep it a strictly American bully show. What's the order the show will be in? Has in classes. I assume he's gonna start with the with the classics first, probably classic standard pocket XL, probably how it usually is. But uh, I also can tell y'all right now, man, he did not spare any cost when it came to the hardware. I'm telling y'all right now, none of those cheap uh, Party City ribbons. I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm sure I'm sure he wants to tell y'all himself, but. He went all out when it came to the trophies in the first and the second place. Can I bring my ABKC girl? Absolutely. If you got an American bully, we don't care if they're ABKC, UKC, USBR, ABR, you know what I'm saying? Bring them out. If you got an American bully, bring them to the show. I believe we will have on-site BBKC registration if you want to just have it or if you want to be able to uh, show your dog uh, that day. Show is in Chicago, Illinois, Brad. I think uh, I think we're going to have a nice little food truck up there, man. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think it's going to be some... I, I want to say my boy Kenneth is coming out for the show. I think. Maybe. I think he said he was coming. And if he do, he be cooking up a motherfucker. That boy be showing up. It's the first thing. Yes, this is going to be the, yes, and this is the first annual BBKC show. We're going to try to have it as a yearly thing. Um, hello. Thanks. I'm out of Iowa with a bit. Yeah, man. Hey, you right there, man. You ain't that far away being in Iowa. You, let me say, you're more welcome to come out. We're going we're gonna to try to make it into a, a real, real big deal. Yeah, no outside food. No outside food. How much does it cost to register? I think it's 20 bucks to register. I think. I wish he was on here to answer this question for me. But he's not. Well, I'm waiting on her right now. She's uh taking forever. We got reservations in eight minutes. And she's still upstairs. So, I don't know where she at. Hey Tristan, boy, what you talking? Look, y'all act like y'all act like the show is the whole city, man. Look, once the show over, the after party gonna commence. We could definitely hit downtown when the show over. What's good, Demarcus? Yeah, when the show look, when the show over, I could definitely pull out up to some heralds, or some sharks, or some JJ. Or I can show y'all how to get that real Midwest pizza. None of that. None of that thin cardboard New York City pizza. And I'm going to say it here on live. If anybody from here go, hold on. Here go. Sorry, dude. Sorry. You don't know what 7 p.m., 6 p.m. Central Time means? It says 7 p.m. Don't put the 7 then, shit. I'm aging. <laughs> I'm, I'm aging. I'm going to be late. Man, some some of the people, uh, some of the questions I tried to answer, um, can they bring dogs from other registries? I said, 
long as they are American bullies, they can come to the show because we will have on-site registration, right? Um, we won't have on-site registration, but we'll we'll have temporaries because it's gonna take too long to register everybody. You know what I mean? But you guys can bring if you guys can bring if you guys can bring your paperwork, maybe like a copy of it and and, and like a like a picture of your dog with you, you know, print it out before you get there. Then we can grab all that and we can do it for you when we get back from the show. That way, like you save some money because like if you register your dog for the show at the day of, instead of 20, it's 30. But if you register the same, but if you do it online, it's super simple. I don't know why you guys want to do it at the show when it's going to be crazy hectic. Online takes you like maybe two minutes. Yeah, yes, online it will take you like two easy. minutes, but we they we will can. we will do what we can for you guys to show at the show. So you can bring they any are. dog with, from any registry as long as they meet the standard. The standard the classes will be uh, extreme pocket and standard, and, and the only variety extreme is either the pocket or uh, a standard height. That's really it. The, the two separations. Copy that. They want to know we're gonna have some food trucks there. Oh no, we do. I wish I, I wish I could bring food truck because there's a lot of people that want to do it. The next event probably somewhere else we're gonna do. It. But this one they have like a, like a include like a cafe in there already, so you guys don't have to go anywhere to get food. Copy that. Copy yeah. that. They also wanted to know somebody. Ah, oh, forget the question. So was it twenty at the door to get into the show? It's twenty five to get in the show just to watch it. Yeah, twenty five. And then how much if they want to bring a dog with them? It's twenty per dog, but you got to bring a crate because there's gonna there's if you want to watch the show by ringside, you have to put your dog away. We don't want to distract the dogs in the ring. That's Copy the only that. stipulation. So, so you guys can bring dogs without having a booth, but they have to have a crate. I assume we're gonna have a crate space area. And no yeah. loose dogs by the ring to distract the dogs that are in the ring showing. Yeah, and it's, it's a no-brainer. You want you want to respect everybody that's showing. All right. So before I get off here, kind of tell them some things that you want them to know about the show, what to expect. Uh, you know, just talk to them about the show while we got them on here. Well, everyone knows the show's uh, May fourteenth. Door starts at nine. Uh, door opens at nine a.m. Show starts at 12. Just try to be there early if you guys are going to show your dogs. Uh, we're going to have uh, the sanction show, which is judged by Abisai. Then we're going to have the fun show that's going to be judged by you. And then uh, okay. the stack off is going to be uh, handled by Nico and Kenny Lee. So we're going to do the stack off at from males and females and different classes. So It'll be just like a like you're running a show, but at the end, everyone's gonna go against each other, you know, in the class, and then G-Lu, you're a male, and it'll be a male and a female. 